Pole vaulting on Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee. That's right, a historical event, part of the Ed Murphy Classic. Men and women, elite athletes and Olympians. Say hello to the American Track League, indoor and outdoor track meet series, and now street vaulting. Puma is one of their sponsors. Memphis Vault Club did the heavy lifting to make this possible. Coaches, pole vaulters, and longtime track and field innovator Bruce Caldwell arrived at 7 a.m. for setup. Bruce provided the CanStat runway. It's wide, which pole vaulters love, 48 inches wide. CanStat runway is said to be a fast runway by vaulters. Jason Voigt and his vaulting crew unloaded and assembled it all, piece by piece. The dedication and hard work of these vaulters was something to see. Then the pit arrived and was put together. What talent and dedication by Jason Voigt and the Memphis Pole Vault Club. Matt Ludwig was the first and last competitor on the runway. More on that in a bit. Memphis Pole Vault Club was the first to test out the runway. Jason, who's good at short approach jumps, got up in the air right away. And Memphis Vault Club took some jumps. Women elite pole vaulters were first to compete. Warm-ups began in the afternoon, and what a sight to see. The weather was great, and so were the conditions for pole vaulting. No wind and comfortable temperatures. The runway looked great and was put together very well. The women put on a show. Kristen Brown, or KB as they called her, became a Memphis favorite. The Beale Street crowd started to arrive, was amazed, and multiplied. Bruce Caldwell and the Canstat Runway were the right call. It's nighttime and the men arrived for competition. Opening height was 17.5. Sam Kendricks was in the house. He's from nearby Mississippi. Matt Ludwig stole the show. He borrowed a pole from another jumper and an amazing story. For those who have pole vaulted, you will know that poles are customized for each vaulter. It's based on the length of the pole and the test weight of the pole. Plus, you tape your own grip and get familiar with the bend and how you break in the pole. Ludwig told me earlier in the day that his poles had not arrived from Chicago, but he competed anyway, and he was on fire. He styled out and went 18-8, and now is among the highest jumps ever on Tennessee soil. He put the bar at 19-1, and took all three of his attempts, gave the crowd their money's worth. I think it was a free event. I don't think anyone paid. They just showed up, which is unbelievable. This is remarkable on someone else's pole. There was no special lighting, just the street lights. Memphis Vault Club, Beale Street, American Track League, and the pole vaulters get major props, and so does the Canstat Runway. This was just a first-class event and a great night in Memphis, Tennessee.